These are the five worst mistakes that music artists are making. Stay to the end to make sure that you're not making them and how to fix it so that you can build a full-time music career. Mistake number one is thinking that you need a team. I'm not saying that having a team isn't gonna help you, but chances are you're using the fact that you don't have a team as an excuse for why you're not further and more successful in your career. Using me as an example, I'm able to create songs, fully produce them from the comfort of my own home, release them, I even do the cover art myself, I film the damn videos for social media myself, I edit them myself, post them up, promote them, do all that good stuff. Enemies in my head Got these demons hiding under my bed they won't see me stop until they see me dead. And I was even able to get my music business to pass 10K a month consistently completely by myself. And it wasn't until after I started hitting 10K a month with music that I decided to bring on a couple of team members to help me. But the point is I was able to get super far and build my music career up to a full-time level without needing a team. Mistake number two is buying beats off the internet. Let's be real, it's 2024, and there are so many tools out there that you can make your own beats with. Why would you keep buying beats off the internet? Why would you keep spending your hard-earned money that you could be using to actually market and promote your music on something that you could easily be doing yourself, right? And, and even when you go buy beats off the internet, a lot of the time you're getting leases or maybe you're finding cheap deals for exclusive beats, but at the end of the day, is that your sound, right? And I know that maybe there's this idea of developing a sound with a producer, but you're really not. You're buying a beat off the internet. It's not the same thing as developing a one-on-one -on -one sound with a producer. And even then, that's gonna cost you even more money. So if you're getting them off of YouTube and you're doing YouTube to MP3, you're actually creating a lower quality audio file for when you actually do mix your song. If you're getting them off of lease, then you're not fully owning them and you're not getting creative control. And you're spending your money on something that you could be using for advertising, for actually marketing your music to grow a fan base. Like for example, I have multiple clients in my Rapid Fire Music Academy who have no prior music production experience. And in just the month of August of 2023, we held a contest. Whoever was able to make the most beats was gonna win a prize. And we had multiple clients do super well. But one of my clients, Cameron, made over 30 beats in the month of August. It's insane. He used to buy beats on BeatStars. And now he's starting to actually pick up clients with rappers that wanna work with him and are paying him for his beats. Same with Ange, she's currently selling beats as well. So they both went from depending on producers and relying on other people to be able to create their own beats and now they're actually getting clients, even though that's kind of against the point I'm making, doesn't matter, because somebody's gonna watch this and disagree with me and they're gonna keep going to buy beats. Well, my clients are gonna be able to serve you up real well. So mistake number three is paying for studio time. I'm in the studio right now. This is my studio. I've got a Shure SM7B mic. I'm right here in the crib. I'm in the living room and I'm able to fully record my own songs. I don't need to go pay for studio time. You can and should be recording your own vocals at home and you're able to do it at a high quality. In fact, I literally have a YouTube video that shows you a tutorial. I'll post it somewhere here where you can watch it and I can show you how to record high quality vocals right in the comfort of your own home. For example, my client, Devin, he came into the program, right? And he used to spend over a thousand dollars per song for the instrumentation, meaning like the production of the instrumental, recording time, mixing and mastering. And he's not a hip hop artist. He's pop, folk, more on the worship side. And he's a singer songwriter. He came in and he's been recording his songs from his laundry room, bro, his laundry room. And he produced, wrote, recorded, mixed and mastered three songs, three songs in 90 days of working in the Rapid Fire Music Academy. So I jumped right in and it worked amazingly for me. Now, um, since joining the program, I have written, recorded, uh, mixed and mastered three songs myself. Um, so that's been an in less than three months, they're fully ready to go and be released. Mistake number four is hiring out for mixing and mastering. I'm literally gonna give you the sauce right now on the two services that you need so that you can fully mix and master your own songs. The first one is called Waves. Waves is a company that makes plugins and they've got a lot of plugins. They now have a subscription model. You can pay $25 a month and get all of their plugins, all of them, which is like over 211 plugins. The other one is Isotope Ozone 10. This is for mastering your music. You can master with Waves plugins as well, don't get me wrong. It's just that Isotope Ozone 10 is a little bit easier to use. So it's great if you can just get both of them. 
It's super simple, super easy to use. Take my client Ryan B, for example. Ryan B, he was spending around, I think he had spent 10 years on his music career. Took like a seven year hiatus off of music because he was depending on producers, paying for studio time, people fucked him over and all this types of stuff. And he was spending money on beats, mixing, mastering and all that and he was wasting his money. He saw me on Instagram, decided he wanted to follow and connect with me joined the Rapid Fire Music Academy and in 90 days produced 30 instrumentals, what produced, wrote, recorded four songs and completely mixed and mastered one of them. And so now if you look at the trajectory of his music career, the sky's the limit. He can fully focus on promoting his songs because he doesn't have to think about, well, where's my next song coming from? He's got way bigger budget to be able to spend on actually marketing and promoting his music as well. I can just create all this myself and put it out when I want and do all this stuff that I want to do and and just really tap into all of that. I told my parents that it was like, I was like, dude, it's the best music investment I've ever made legitimately. And mistake number five, you probably guessed at this point, it's not fully producing your own music. If you're not able to release at least one song every month or at least every four to six weeks with an effective marketing strategy, there is no way that you're going to be able to build a full-time music career. You're not going to be able to make it big, right? The only chance you have, if that's the case, if you're not putting out a song every month, maybe if you make an industry connection, maybe if you just network super, 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 super heavy, but even then somebody's going to have to see your work and know like is this person a dope artist or not it's actually a lot easier if you go the independent route like what i've done and like what my clients have done because you can fully control everything so let's go with that with that being said if you're not able to put out at least one song at least every four to six weeks with an effective marketing strategy you're not going to make it right and at this point you're probably in a stage where you're you're buying beats from the internet or you're working with a friend, you're going to a studio, maybe you're recording your own stuff at home, but you're still hiring out for mixing and mastering. You don't have creative control. You're frustrated working with other people because the sound isn't yours. They aren't spending as much time, energy, and attention on your music as you would like them to. And maybe you're allocating way, 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 way too much money toward that when you would rather be putting that money toward actually marketing your music, right? So. If you've been writing and recording songs for a long, long time, right? And you have a computer and a home recording setup and you know that you could produce on your own, why don't you, right? The fact is maybe you don't think it's possible. Maybe you think it takes too long. Maybe you're like, well, I'd rather leave that stuff to people who've been doing it for years. Trust me, I did it myself. I've taught over 40 people, 40 artists in the Rapid Fire Music Academy how to produce their own songs, produce the instrumentals without knowing music theory, record vocals at home like a pro, mix and master in just 90 days. If that's something you're interested in, all you have to do is click in the description below and go watch the free training where I literally show you how to produce your own songs from A to Z in just 90 days, right? So thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you got a ton of value out of it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.